be kicking on and off. During this process, I think I see that I have a problem. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Steve Seckham with Sir Pro, located in Parkersburg, West Virginia. Wanted to take a minute today and talk to you about sump pump problems. Let's have a closer look. So uh, not all basements have sump pumps, but what you'll want to do is look around. Usually in the corners of the basement, you'll look for a black lid like this. So let's uh, take the lid off and have a look. Okay, you can see this one's quite dry and that's because in the summer they don't run. And then in the winter, when the water comes, the pumps are seized up, the water comes up out of the sump pump opening and out into the basement can cause a lot of problems. I didn't like it kicking on and off. During this process, I think I see that I have a problem. <laughs> Just got to give it a shake. <laughs> so this is this is a good example. Now we got it freed up. That's exactly what happened to this one. It seized up a bit, so I shook it a little, and then it kicked on. <laughs> There's what we're looking for. That was filled up a minute ago. So we'll do this a couple times. We'll be ready for winter. There we go. That's what it's supposed to do. Looking good. You did this. Might have had a water clean up in my basement. Okay, now that I've identified my own problem in my own house, I'm just going to run this a few times and make sure it's really clean. Okay, so guys, learn from this lesson that I endured today. Make sure you go out there and check your sump pumps.